Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm not sure if you saw part one, but this is part two of just the warning and clarification of people talking crazy uh, about men and women of God on the internet. Specifically, I'm just talking about my personal experience and about my um, pastor, my spiritual father, Prophet Lovi Elias, and I am not just getting on here to uh, pre- that man doesn't need my protecting. He doesn't. But the people of the world who are listening to the people who are out here spewing hate and just false information and just talking down on somebody's name, um, I feel they need another voice. So hopefully if you are watching those negative videos about Prophet Lovi, you stumble upon this one. So someone made a video and they were talking about, and this man, he has to, I'm going to just say something candidly real quick, honestly, because I watch him. I be watching him on YouTube. Uh, I'm a member of the church. Okay. And he always got to, he always got to stop in the middle of teaching some good spiritual revelation to put people in check because they are not listening. Not even that he's putting people in check, but just to clarify what he is saying, okay? So you you distracting from the good spiritual meat, okay? Because y'all out here just hearing what you wanna hear and saying what you wanna say, and you ain't check, verify, nor confirm with, with, with God. Getting, pray about it, get in your prayer corner, get clarification, okay? Before you start talking crazy, okay? Because we got some spiritual meat to get to, okay? Well, the, 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 the end times are near, okay? We we, we are called for, for quickened spirits. We got work to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyways, I digress. So one of the main points was talking about how Prophet Lovi has said that Adam did not name the animals and um the man who made the video went on to bring up genesis 2 19 through 20 so but we see chronologically 19 comes before 20 in 19 when it refers to god seeing what adam would call the animals who i do not know how to say this hebrew word the car it is y i q dash r a i hope that makes some sense but anyways i love bible hub because it shows you the word and then you can click on it and you can look at all the other times that it comes up so this specific word this specific translation of him calling the animals you also see it um Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Here we go. In Joshua 22, 1, um, when he called, I am, Lord, help me. When he called the Reubenites, called as in, hey, Reubenite, come here. He didn't name the Reubenites. He called them what they were already named. And again, this is out of context because what he was saying was that what Adam called the animals when he, upon seeing them, it was perfect. Basically, the point he was making, if I'm remembering this correctly, is that Adam operated prophetically. That is why he was deeper, more spiritually established and mature than Eve. He was in the garden longer, doing things prophetically. Lord, help me. Please let this message come across because I'm struggling right now in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, get me back on track. I digress. Um, and again, 1 Samuel 3, 9, and it shall be if he calls you that you shall say, Call again, calling as in getting someone's attention, calling upon somebody. I'ma call my mama. That's not me naming her my mama. She just my mama at the end of the day. I hope you are tracking what I am saying. <clears throat> okay, so that's the first step. So when we see call again, we can go to Genesis 1:5. And God when God called the light day. He was naming the light day. 
we see that call and we also see it again though in Genesis 2.20. So it shifted from Adam being, but from Adam like calling upon the animals names to him naming them. The, the word is, so um, Genesis 2.20 starts with so gay and it's <laughs> W-A-Y-Y-I-Q-R-A. That's like how it's spelled in English. I'm sorry, I don't speak Hebrew. I'm definitely, I don't know, um, God's grace is sufficient. But how I'm tracking, how I'm understanding the revelation of it all is when he called the animals, it was prophetically, excuse me, it was prophetically led. It was still God's influence. God, the, the names of the animals were available. God already predestined and determined them. Just like all the hairs on our head are numbered. It was predestined and determined, but Adam picked it up in the spirit because it was there for him to pick up in the spirit as in it was already there. So he didn't come up with the names is what he was saying. He pulled them out of the spirit and gave them to the animals per his assignment from the Lord. Okay, but he did not Picasso those names out of thin air out of nowhere. God gave them to him, but he still named the animals. Does that make sense? Does that does that make sense? Just like did did Mary name Jesus Jesus? Yes or no? But did Gabriel not come down and tell her you gonna name this baby boy Jesus? Yes, yes he did. But yes, yes she also did. Do we understand? Do we do we understand? Okay. So again, we are just gonna get back into the morning. If you are speaking from a carnal place, don't just assume from face value, especially since me and the people on here, I don't speak Hebrew. I don't think he speak Hebrew either. He don't Hebrew. He no brew. Okay. And again, this, this is no shade, but it's like we go on these whole tangents again, trying to deter people. But revelation is what we are all seeking at the end of the day. And it's the name of this man's church, Revelation Church. <laughs> Try to get some revelation before you start speaking because it's there to be had. And again, if, if I am wrong, someone correct me in the comments. You correct me in the comments. I don't mind correction, but it's the condemnation. It's calling people heretics. It's calling the con congregation idolizers like are y'all okay y'all really think you're doing that on behalf of Jesus? like i just really want to know and understand because that that is wild to me that you will get on here and call someone a heretic and call their whole congregation an idolizer and say that they're just a bunch of people that want stuff and, and say you're doing it in the name of jesus which is crazy like that is so crazy and it's offensive at the end of the day. At the end of the day. Because I can... Uh, hmm. Is this relevant to the topic at hand? Okay, it's all right if I say it. So, I actually used to be in the occult. Like, I used to be dealing with witches and witchcraft and all of that stuff. And people want to say Prophet Lovi is an occultist or whatever. And it's just like, at the end, y'all y'all are giving the enemy way too much power and credit. There is nothing new under the sun. God created all things. All things are the Lord's. People who work in witchcraft, who do the occult, they are just taking spiritual principles and using them outside of the will of God. That is the difference. Woo! Thank you, Holy Spirit. That is the difference between angels and devils and demons. Satan, the, the devil himself, was an angel. He is just operating outside of the will of God. He's no longer in alignment with God. So we do not see him as an angel, but that is what he is at the end of the day. 
So he is what God created. What God created him to be was an angel. But then he started operating outside of his purpose, outside of the will of God. And that is why he is the devil, why he is Satan. The same with the occult, the same with witchcraft. They take that principle, they take the principles of God and start operating outside of his laws, outside of his will. And that is where we get the occult. That is where we get witchcraft. But it ain't nothing new. And Prophet Loki just, he, I I was all up in this man's comment. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Because I'm like, listen, uh, I know I watch comments on, I read comments on YouTube videos. So I was like, let me shed some light in these comments just in case, you know, someone is coming on here and they found a spiritual home in Revelation Church and, you know, a teacher and Prophet Lovi and this person could steer them from that path okay it's like how you all gonna steer someone from a path and you ain't even able to give people revelation on deep spiritual things that doesn't make sense to me okay but in the mighty name of jesus um blood sacrifices we attribute that to the cult the cult but literally they sacrifice animals god called for um oh my goodness lord help me i am not well versed in the bible but he called upon his servant to sacrifice his son y'all know who i'm talking about um holy spirit's gonna help me with names and remembrance but called for his son to be sacrificed blood sacrifices but we attribute that to to the occult but it ain't nothing that ain't originate in the bible jesus tells Little he says, and we, we drink, we do communion spiritually. We are eating his flesh and drinking his blood. Where do you think they get it from? It's it's that it's that simple. But it takes revelation to make the connections because you don't think of these things and you don't think of these things how. Um, the church normally teaches or preaches them, but it's there. It's there. That That's what it is with salvation. That's what it is with everything. The wisdom, the knowledge, the revelation, it is there. We just have to seek it and we have to grasp it. But when we are focusing on tearing other men and women of God down, of questioning people, of calling them uh, devils, demons, whatever it may be, you miss out on the revelation. You miss out on what God wants for you. What does God want for you? And I don't think it's to build your platform off of tearing down men and women of God. But again, I don't know how this video got to 12 minutes and 55 seconds, 56, 57, but I'm going to end it here. I hope this is helpful to somebody. I kind of got on here on ranted, um, but you know, maybe it was therapeutic for me and it might be therapeutic for you. I don't know, hopefully, um, but we pray in the mighty name of Jesus and we give God all the glory at all times because he is so good and I just want his kingdom on earth for the body of Christ to be united and to work and operate on one accord and that is the mission of Revelation Church. Oh Lord, we will see such a greater move of God when we work to understand each other and work together i don't know what y'all got going on but i'm gonna mind my black owned business and end this video and i spend some time in my prayer corner and hear what the lord wants me to hear and i hope y'all spend time in your prayer corner and hear directly from the lord okay the, the the point of a man and woman of god is to guide you to having that intimacy and that relationship with god to where you can go and you can hear him and have that sweet sweet intimacy with your father in the mighty name of jesus and i pray and i wish that for each and every one of you in the mighty name of jesus if you have walked in error may you repent because god's grace is sufficient it is there for you waiting but he wants you to worship him in spirit and in truth what is the truth what is the truth of what you have been doing what you have been saying what you have been thinking give your heart to him expose yourself the deep dark crevices of yourself your intentions your mindset whatever it is expose it now in the mighty name of jesus and give it to him and he will give you a new heart 
he will put you in alignment with him in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray and we thank you. Amen.